our theme is, the theme of the forum is downturns create millionaires. But of course, as the head of the people division of Figari, I would always say downturns or upturns, people create million dollar or even multi-billion dollar businesses. Don't you agree? It is us, the people who are the drivers of the success of any company or any business. Okay, so at this point, because later on, as I wrap up, uh, we will rush because it's already late. So I give me the opportunity to give some credits where the credits are due. So I would like to thank our IT head, Alvin Hilario, for helping me with my presentation deck. Of course, Bianca Aman Keaton, our support business support manager for. Of course, the Ever Ready Moral Support and the OOTD advice, etc. And our team here who have devoted their time today to represent Figari and to support me as the presenter of our team. Okay, let's move now to the presentation. So as you can see there, there is a sub-theme of humanizing workspaces. Mr. Dexter Kuwa Kotor, if I say it right, from BPI, mentioned earlier that they work on a marriage between physical and digital. I would say, I would like to point out that whether in any business, real estate, or in any business, it is always the marriage of your business and the people who work in the business. That will make you successful. I uh, repeat that one of the core businesses of Figari Solutions is Figari Build. So let me share with you some of the major projects we have done. So as you can see, the vibrancy and the colors and the local vibe. We have done this project, one of our milestone projects, last year in BGC. And we were very happy when we were planning it and creating the design. And even though the clients are Australian, they told us they want a vibe that is local, a vibe that is Filipiniana. So if you could see from their operations area with the uh, small nooks for huddle, and then the second photo shows their pantry, very Philippine festive, and then the um, bar area. It's really a vibe of Filipiniana. So that's one of our major projects last year. The next slide shows a training facility for a maritime training institution. We did that in the area of Ashana, and actually the project manager is here with me. Brian, could you please stand up? So this is Brian Palomeras, one of our project managers, and he did this project in Ashana, where some maritime trainees are schooled you know, with the simulated ship where we uh, worked on. Figari partnered with a client. And the other one, so we have BGC, we have Ashana, and we have Clark. As I mentioned with Attorney Carden earlier, we have started our footprint in Clark. We have started the project in March and finished it within the 45 to 60 day project timeline. And we opened it, we kicked it off, uh, we kicked off the operations together with our client sometime in May. So that's uh, from the reception to the training room to the operations area. Actually, this client has three operations, big operations area. And again, as a Filipino, I'm very proud. They named their operations rooms or areas as Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And they are, of course, an international client. And the next one, we haven't only expanded outside Metro Manila because it was our first 
site in Clark, outside Metro Manila, but we also expanded in Australia, at the heart of the Central Business District in Melbourne, at Docklands, Collins, Docklands. And uh, when I hired staff there, one of the major attractions was the location. So it, it, it is at 2,600 square meters with 340 plus seats. And of course, that's flexible working spaces. So we show here the boardroom and the nice kitchen and the reception. Okay, so our next core business is Figari Space. So we do not only build, we also lease offices. And we call it Figari Space. And the people that you see there are our own people. There in the slide. Okay, so in terms of Figari Space, we create work communities. So even though it's hybrid or full RTO or work from home, and they only come to our facilities for regular meetings or to celebrate events, we create communities with our clients. Okay, so present, we have 22 facilities, uh, including, of course, our Melbourne uh, facility, then uh, leasing 5,000 plus seats. We uh, increased from 3,500 last year, and that's why I mentioned earlier during the, the panel discussion that Last year and even this year are milestone years for us, even you know, uh, uh, after the pandemic. That's already, we are, we are only in August, and that's already 42% increase in our capacity. And we still have some very good pipeline until the end of the year. So part of our milestones, we have uh, increased 270 seats in Clark, we have 200 seats in 3 NEO, and another 530 seats in 4 NEO. So m most of our offices, lease offices are in BGC, but when we fit out and do construction, if, without the leasing, we go out anywhere. Okay, so let me read what I, because this is very important, so let me read what I prepared as part of my presentation. Please indulge with me. I'm very sure that you still remember your Psychology 101, and you still know Abraham Maslow's The Basic Needs of Human. There are five tiers, right? And it is illustrated as a pyramid. So we go the first step, which are the basic needs of clothing, shelter, food, so those are physiological needs. Then we go to the next step, which is the safety, the feeling of security and stability. The third one is social and emotional and belongingness. The fourth one is self-worth and recognition. And the fifth one, according to Maslow, and I think most of us here will agree, the self-fulfillment the actualization need of every person. So we look at this in Figari when we design the plan and the building or the work uh, spaces that we are asked by our clients. Why? Because we have to consider the people who will use the workspaces that we create as our compass are these really supportive of the human needs of the people who will use them. So let me read what I prepared. Humans, wherever we find ourselves, have our lives anchored on the basic needs as illustrated by Abraham Maslow. We also say that our office is like our second home, given we spend most of our waking time at work. This was predominant, especially before COVID, but even with the new normal, many companies, especially those who have returned to offices, would like to have that feeling of being at home when they are in their offices. 
So we would prefer our workspaces to be conducive and supportive to our goals of performing well in our jobs and supportive of our needs as humans. So workspaces or offices will only serve their purpose when they are given life by the people who use them. It is the people who breathe life to the properties we have talked about this morning, to the beautiful designs and structures we create. So at every stage of the build process, even from the very start, the inception of the build thought, people must always be the core or the compass that must help direct its completion to fruition. So there is a common observation from my slides earlier. They are just the physical office, right? So what I want to share with you now is a video of the offices we created with the people in those offices. So in a nutshell, I would like to share with you our people programs at Figari. So there is Coffee with Chris, our CEO. There is Figari Learning where we continue to develop and upskill We have the Figari Wellness, where we take time to do Zumba and uh, sometimes hip hop. But for this month, we are kicking off our mental health series, which will run until the November. So based on the basic human needs, people will only be motivated if these needs are provided and wellness is one of them and we also do fun events like figari going barbie last halloween so you could see there the dominant colors of pink so we do figari live maybe six seven times a year and in our center in melbourne we also do the events with our clients. So there are team catch-ups, there are celebrations of special events. We also, of course, have done the Mother's Day in May. Simple activities that support mostly the third basic need, which is the need to connect the emotional and the love and care needs of a person. We also feature our talents in the company. So we make life at the office that we create fun and vibrant. So we call our engagement program Figari Live. So we have the musical talents, we have a band. We also create beautiful videos for the birthdays of uh, our colleagues and our CEO and chairman. So my point is, along with the others, uh, Mr. Sotelo gave us a perspective of people on the client side. Now what I want to emphasize is the people who work with us. You know, when we work with them and provide them the, the environment, the workspaces, they need to support their needs to be motivated to grow and you know, evolve with us. And of course, 
earning together because you know that's the source of livelihood and if the business is successful we share the fruits of the success with everyone so that's that's how we are in figari so thank you very much for your attention Thank you.